Hey everybody, Mr. Macintosh here, and this is going to be an update video to my previous one that talked about how macOS Big Sur is breaking some 2013 and 2014 13-inch MacBook Pros. I'm going to go over how Apple is addressing this issue if you had the problem and you call Apple Care or you go into an Apple Store. I'm also going to talk about the root of the issue now that has been pretty much confirmed from user reports. I'm going to talk about how Apple is addressing the issue with the new version of macOS Big Sur. We've got a lot to talk about, so let's jump in and get started. Let's first talk about how Apple is addressing the issue if you came into an Apple store, you called Apple Care support on the phone. When the issue first happened, it takes some time for all the reports to kind of gather in and Apple to realize that there's a serious issue here. So when some of the users first went in to get some help for the issue, Apple just thought, well, hey, most of the technicians that looked over the issue thought this was just a hardware failure. So they would quote the customer a bill of anywhere between $400 and $1,000 to replace the entire logic board because they thought that that's what the problem was. It wasn't until multiple reports came in where Apple started to realize, hey, this is a problem. And that's when users started to report in or customers started to say, hey, after I called Apple and escalated and said, hey, this is all I did was install macOS was Big Sur and it was available to me in software update and then this is what happened to my machine. They're starting to report now that Apple is replacing the logic board for free even though it is out of warranty and that's what I mentioned in the original video that Apple should do. Again, their MacBook Pro was working perfectly before they installed Big Sur now it's not working anymore. Again, it's very good that that's happening. Also, I've got here that some of the reports are saying that the Apple stores were saying, hey, your, your product's vintage, we can't replace this anymore and I need to call that out in Apple's own document, and I'm gonna read that. Vintage products are those that have not been sold for more than five and less than seven years ago. Mac, iPhone, iPad, iPod, Apple TV, vintage products continue to receive hardware service from Apple service providers, including Apple retail stores, subject to availability of inventory as required by law. Well, that's what we're saying here, is Apple will repair that machine all the way up to seven years in any of their stores or any of their service provider. They will repair it and this is those two units, the 2013 and 14, both fall into that category of vintage, but Apple will still service them. That kind of takes care of what Apple's doing about it in the stores or when you call Apple Care. So again, if you had this happen and your Mac's sitting there and you still have the issue, you can call Apple Care and hopefully you can escalate it up and they will take care. So what is the root cause of this issue? Again, it's still unknown. But we do know that something in the Big Sur installer is causing the problem. It could be just the firmware update inside Big Sur and every update, combo update, Delta update, and OS upgrade installs a firmware update and they're included inside the packages. It's possible that whatever was in there could have caused some sort of a problem in the input output board. And you know I mentioned that in the previous video that that, that could have been the cause but it's pretty much confirmed and I'll show you what that looks like. This is one of the posts on Reddit where someone said that they were able to success fix it by removing and you can see here this is the main connector with this ribbon cable from the logic board here to this input output board over here and all they're doing is disconnecting that and the machine boots up fine this has pretty much been 100 confirmed that this is the problem if you've got this issue you can disconnect that cable and your machine will boot up and you'll be able to finish the install but the problem is the input output board is damaged so after he unplugged the input output board from the ribbon cable, he was able to power it back on and finish the update. He's on Big Sur. And a lot of people jumped in and say, well, wait a minute, can you plug back in the board and will it still work? And he confirms pretty much right here that after plugging it back in, it still doesn't boot up. And he actually ordered the input output board and then put it back in and it was fixed and pretty much confirms that that board was damaged by the Big Sur update. And if I was him, I would save that receipt because I can almost guarantee you if he calls Apple support, they should they would probably cover the cost of that board. It's not guaranteed, but again, they're starting to recognize that this is an issue and they're starting to cover some of those things. With that said, what is Apple doing now to prevent this from happening to more users. We'll go back to, to my article here that pretty much calls it out. Apple has released 11.0.1 .1 with a new build version, 20B50. And it's basically exactly the same as 20B29, the production version that was released to everybody, except for one change. And I'll show you exactly what that is right here, this board ID. 
right here. This is the board ID for both 13 inch MacBook Pro from 2013 and 2014. Apple removed this board ID right here from the supported board ID list here. And that now prevents the installer from installing on both the 13 and 2014 13 inch MacBook Pro. If you had the previous version, the, the 20B29, it'll install and you're gambling. Some people it works, some people will get bricked. And, and that's the weird part. It doesn't brick everybody. There's still people that have said, hey, I've installed it in my 13 inch 2014 and it's fine. It's unknown why some people are fine, but it happens to other people. Apple has replaced the previous 20B29 installer with this new 20B50. So again, if you tried to go get Big Sur today, you're not gonna be able to install it on your 13 inch MacBook Pro. So that's how they're addressing the issue. They're trying to stop it from happening to any machine happening in the future. Now, the only way that this could happen now is if you had a previous copy of 20B29 and you attempted to install it. So that's gonna be very, really rare. So they're pretty much stopping this from happening to any other customer on their device. Now, the interesting thing is, I'll show you here. This is MDS and this shows all of the installers and you can see 20B50 is the current install that's available to all users. But if we change this to developer seed and look at all the developer installs that are available to all beta testers, this is macOS Big Sur Beta 11.1 and guess what? That board ID is back in here and it was and this is on 11.20 and you can see here when I came out with this article that it was pulled on the 19th. So what does this say? Is it possible they already have a fix after they pulled it? Or did they still not pull that out and they were already still working on the beta? That's still not known yet. All I know is that if you attempt to install 11.1 beta, it will install on the 2013 and 2014 13 inch MacBook Pro. I will confirm if Apple comes out, I don't know if they're gonna come out with another beta. They should probably maybe one more beta of 11.1 .1 before it's released or they might not and it's done. We'll have to wait and see and I'll confirm whether or not that those board IDs are in there or not when it's released. So that's kind of where we're at and I wanted to give you guys an update of the whole entire situation. All I hope is if this happened to you or happened to someone that you know, make sure that they know that they need to talk to Apple Care. I would call them on the phone. It seems like the stores are not really well equipped to be able to deal with this yet, but it's still, the information is still getting to them. But Apple Care does know about this. They know this is an issue and they're starting to help people now, which is really great to hear. Guys, what do you think about this whole situation? Let me know in the comments what you think about all of this is again like i said it's a really interesting situation here if you like this video consider giving it a like and subscribing if you want to see more videos like this in the future if you're already a subscriber i really appreciate it and we'll catch you in the next video thanks a lot